Hey guys, Kelsey here from RefandTumbleFarmhouse.com and today we're going to be talking about black soldier fly larva, why I fed it to my chickens, and what sort of results that I saw. I want to say thank you to Grubterra for sending me this bag of black soldier fly larva to try with my chickens. So uh, they sent this to me for free, but this is, they're not paying me to do this review or anything, so this is my honest opinion and feedback about using these for your chickens. So what this stuff is, is it is the larva of a black soldier fly. So to create this product, this company, they divert food waste out of landfills and use it to feed the fly larva on it. And then I guess I don't know how they do away with the fly larva, but eventually they are dehydrated and you can feed them to your chickens. Now some benefits of it and why you might want to do it is that they say that it has 75% more calcium than mealworms, which is a good nutritional supplement. They say because of the high calcium, it helps with having nice sturdy eggshells. It also helps with feather production. And so it's just a nice little tasty snack that you can give your birds, just a little nutritional boost. Now I will say when they sent me this bag, it actually sat for several months, sorry, Grub Terra, and I didn't use it because you need to use a certain amount with your flock to see any of those benefits. And at the time, I had a humongous flock. Our chickens kept sneaking off and hatching eggs. And so my flock was like 60 birds, which is way more uh, than this little one pound bag is gonna do for them. So this is a one pound bag of the dehydrated larva. And so this one pound bag is good to feed five chickens for about a month. So if you think about it, a flock of 60 chickens, this is like a couple days worth of snacks. So how much do you actually give your chickens a day? I pretty much just gave them a couple little handfuls a day uh, to see some benefits from this fly larva. And I did actually see some benefits, I believe, from this. Our chickens in the summer, they usually just straight up stop laying when it first gets hot in June. I have my flock for whatever reason will lay well kind of all winter but they will molt and just stop laying in the summer i have birds that don't lay which is kind of backwards from what most people see however this year i really didn't see any sort of stopping in their laying i had consistent eggs all summer long another thing that i definitely saw once i started feeding these to my girls i had at the beginning of the summer i had just way too many roosters and so as a result of that as some of you may know I had a lot of back feathers that were missing and pulled out. Some of the girls are still recovering from that. But I definitely noticed when I started feeding these that there was some more, their feathers seemed like they were starting to grow in actually. Which the one thing that's tough about nutritional supplements like this and just kind of like a test run like I'm doing with my birds is that I, I'm not like measuring, there's, I can't figure out like a scientific way to measure a difference versus me just kind of watching and seeing, yes, egg production seemed to stay up. Yes, I think feathers started to come in better once I started feeding this supplement. So again, I can't give you like the hard scientific facts that 100% this is gonna make a difference, but I feel like it did make a difference with my birds. So how does Grubterra compare? From what I can see, there's kind of two main brands. If you look up like Black Soldier Fly Larva, there is Grubterra, the brand that I have here, and the other one is Grubly, is the other kind of competitor. So look at my things right here so I don't get the numbers wrong. Uh, so if you get a one pound bag of Grubly, Grubly has two different options. They have Hometown and World Harvest. So I'm assuming one is maybe a US based fly larva and the other one is maybe from wherever. Uh, they didn't really explain that on their website. Again, this is on Grubly, not Grubterra. So on Grubly, their one, the Hometown is $20 for a one pound bag and their World Harvest is $17. And this one, you buy just a one pound bag from Grubterra comes in at $18.95 and that's with free shipping. So it's just kind of right in the middle. It's like a couple dollars more expensive than their one brand, but a couple dollars cheaper than their other their other options. So uh, so price wise it fly, fly <laughs> price wise it lands, flies, whatever, flies I guess, black soldier fly larva. Price wise it lands right in the middle of their competitors kind of two options. So it seems like it's about the same price. Now you can buy this supplement in a couple different size bags. And of course, if you buy a bigger bulk bag, you can get these from Grubterra into up to a 10 pound bag. So if you do have a small like backyard flock, let's say you're just feeding five chickens, I'm gonna check my numbers here. It is 379 per chicken per month to feed them this if you just buy a one pound bag at a time. So again, five chickens, one pound bag, it's 379 per chicken. However, if you get the bigger 10 pound bag, then you would be looking at about $1.38 per chicken per month to feed them. So 
Uh, it just depends on if you have the space. If you imagine a 10 pound bag, so 10 of these is, if you have five chickens, it's gonna last you 10 months basically. So the cost definitely goes down. So at the end of the day, would I recommend this product for your flock? I'm gonna say it depends. If you have a really big flock of chickens, like I had for a while with almost 60 birds, it would be almost $90 a month to supplement even if you were buying the bulk bag. And so that just might not be worth it for you. If you have a smaller kind of backyard flock, you know, maybe like five, 10, 15 birds at most, um, then I think it's definitely something I would try out with my birds, especially during kind of those times where they might need a little nutritional help. So my birds do free range. So I think in the future, I do think I will use this product again in the future. I think I would probably use it uh, kind of right when we're starting to get those hot days in June is when I might start supplementing with it. And then in the winter, I think I might also try supplementing it, supplementing with it this winter just to see how my birds do, if it makes a difference for them at all in terms of their health. Since my birds, they like I said, they free range the whole farm. They really have a lot of opportunities to get a really wide range of nutrition. But if you have your birds maybe just penned in the same kind of area, they're not getting to do that forage of eating bugs and plants and other different things. And I think it's definitely a supplement to try. So like I said, it just kind of depends how big your flock is, what your finances look like, what sort of other forage your animals have. I do think it is a, it is a good option to try. Okay, so hopefully that answered any questions you might have about black soldier fly larva, about my experience with Grub Terra. Again, thank you so much to them for sending this to me to try it out with my birds. I've definitely enjoyed having that little snack. And again, it's a product that I'm going to continue to explore and try with my birds. If you're looking for any more chicken content, I have some other great chicken posts you might wanna look at. A really popular one that I have is is about your best heated chicken waterer as we might be coming into winter months depending on when you're watching this video. I've definitely tried out a bunch and there's some great suggestions there. Some other good posts I have a taking care of chicks 101 which some folks like get their get, like getting their chicks in the fall uh, because then you have eggs right away in the spring. So check out some of my other chicken posts. I will link them below in the description box. Otherwise thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week for more farming, family food, and fortitude here at our rough and tumble farmhouse.